Hi Virgo. So you have a wish fulfillment coming in, but you also have discord about this wish fulfillment. Friends and family do not agree. So there may be some discord among you and your friends, you and your family, or whatever you're partaking in, they may not agree with you. There's also some health or discussions about health, maybe financial for some, but definitely this wedge energy is of significance. Someone's trying to come between you and a friend or something you want, you're gonna feel this way. It could be that someone's trying to make you feel guilty as well. Someone put this away know that something is temporary here okay hard work ahead but it's temporary also i feel like july is going to be a wonderful month for you you're going to hit a lucky streak a lucky break you are a good luck charm or your good luck charm is coming to you in july you're going to be super happy this is good news great and good fortune all right that's just absolutely what's happening there's no question about it uh maybe somebody i don't know there's a special day in july it could be someone's birthday all right, let's see who's coming in. You've got Taurus, seventh house, and Venus. Whoa, commitment is coming in marriage, contracts, love, growth, abundance, sensuality all that is coming in. Who's in the energy? Date. Yeah, there's a special date. So, did you arrange for a special day, a special date? Fupa. Fupa. Thank you. Courting, dating, anniversary, and meetup. Magnetic attraction. Alluring, lust, irresistible, and flirting. No, her name is not Fupa, but I'm just, I just call her that. Okay. Confession, clarity, reveal secrets. All right. Well, someone's coming in. They want to talk to you. This could be a Libra. They want to talk about feelings of lust, of flirting, of something being irresistible. Okay. Show me Virgo. This is about love making. Yeah, this is faded. I'm faded. So somebody could drink or could be faded, but definitely this is destiny meant to be predetermined and encounter. You're going to encounter destiny. This is a shift. Something is changing. Fupa. Calm down, mamas. Okay. Comfort, safety, belonging, and shelter. Oh my gosh, wedding? Marriage forever, the one in union. All right, know that you are going to encounter a feeling that's going to stay. This is faded. There's an encounter that you're having that's meant to make you feel the safety, the shelter, that you belong, that you're comfortable. You're going to feel comfortable in a dynamic. This could be that you are encountering the one or you already have the one. You're the one. Wedding, okay? That's what's happening. So what's the dynamic between Virgo and the person? So this could be that you're finding your forever home or this is a pet because we got pets here freaking out. But... <laughs> Something is going to maintain in your home life. Maybe you're moving. You found the perfect home. Okay. What's going on between Virgo and the person reading that you're dating? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I feel like this came up in one of your readings lately. Woo. Commitment, boyfriend, girlfriend, and partner in a relationship. Someone's bringing in that interference. We talked about the wedge. Remember, we just did. Okay, so someone is trying to drive a wedge in between you and something that you want. So I feel like we should talk about that because whatever you're doing right now about your marriage, your relationship, your home, your home life, your family, something that you feel at home and comfortable with. I belong here. This is mine. This is meant to be. This is my lucky break. Finally, all this kind of stuff. Are you already have this established? Someone's bringing this into question with this discord, discord among friends or family. This could be an illness or um, ideas that are spreading, infecting the mind death and decay kind of energy, pestilence, petulant energies as well. Somebody won't give up. They keep telling you something or trying to, okay? Someone's trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Is that so? All right, this may be family because we're talking about family twice and friends. Someone around you is bringing some unexpected energy. 
this person is very surprised at what you're doing or this is you because readings can be vice versa the energy between you and the person they're reading is soulmate energy but there's interference and competition here so tell me about this third party hmm it's a failed relationship it's a failed connection this may be a Taurus okay someone that you ended a relationship with is coming in yeah earth sign energy so it could be with you but this person wants to heal a failed relationship. They also want they also want to return to the way that you used to be. They want you to think how you used to think or get on board with this belief system, this value that they have, that they care about. They want you to care about it too. They're saying, why did you give up on that Virgo? Or are you going to go back to that Virgo? You know, why don't you come this way? Sway this way. Sway with me. Who's the person in the reading? Yeah, you got heavy Taurus here. So the person in the reading is very selfish, which is okay. <laughs> they love themselves. They know who they are. They know what they have to offer. This could be someone who could be a little self-serving. Maybe they're just very superficial. Could be. This person looks a certain way. Uh, they could be attractive or they think that they are. So that's all that matters here, I suppose, with that mirror, mirror on the wall. This person is very uh, fun. They are, yeah, Libra energy. I don't know. They're spontaneous, they feel something, they say it, they act on it, they like in the moment they do things. Oh wow. They also are aggressive or they're also cutthroat. So they're really fun until they're not. They're really happy and playful until they're not. Yeah, they, they bring the smoke or the fire to the situation. Where's Virgo in this? You're the king of swords. Wow. Wow. Okay. The moon. Don't question my intelligence is what you're saying. So, wow. You're talking to this person a lot is what it seems or you will. You could be keeping things kind of cold, maybe distant, casual, superficial. You're trying to be very matter of fact about your relationships, maybe in general or this third party dynamic. Like you could be, you know, just saying things for what it is and not trying to get too deep or too much in the, in the energy of, I feel like you're not trying to reveal too much is what it is. I also feel like you're talking to this person a lot. Your relationship is flowing. Your conversation is flowing back and forth. It's very, yeah. So this person lulls you or you do. You get this person to open up, to be kind, to be sweet to you. So you know how to affect them. Look at that. There's a whole bunch of love here. You got the, you've got the moon and the knight of cups. What's the energy between Virgo and this queen of swords? All right. So, okay. You guys are trying to figure out why things aren't working. There's a specific reason. There's some sort of interference. Remember? Okay. Here it is. All right. So I can't show you all that because there's boobs. Let's see. Could be distance, travel, moving your special home, like your 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 favorite home. I'm hearing your frequent home, so you frequent somewhere or a place. Someone's frequenting. Okay, can't be showing you that. Goodness, we're gonna get flagged. Yeah, the King of Wands. All right, what's this? Is someone jealous? Virgo someone's jealous of your relationship there's two feminine energies was that your reading too I can't remember it was before that last one we mentioned who is this people are telling you that this person is selfish that you guys have different beliefs or 
if someone wants you to choose according to their belief system, especially if this is spirituality, and we also feel like, okay, well, where are you living? Or do you guys live like this or like that? Like someone's asking you a lot of questions or you will be asked a lot of questions. He yeah, has Pisces energy, okay. You guys are creating a plan here. They don't like it. The person in the reading doesn't like the plan. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. So you're talking to someone about your plans and your ideas about your relationship, something you put a lot of thought, emotion. And, and this is something that feels very serene and calm, like something's supposed to happen this way for you. And you have another person, maybe a friend or a family member or what have you. It's causing like a stir. People are becoming, uh, question, they're questioning you. They're not happy with your choices, your decisions. They wonder why you're okay with things a certain way why you're allowing things to be this way that way okay tell me about this shocking energy right here who is shocked the devil could be a capricorn or a taurus sagittarius who is shocked someone's surprised that you have someone in your life that it's not going to be them the the lovers this could be a family member that's a little too connected to you or this is someone okay the queen of cups love someone's surprised that there's love that there's connection that there's someone else someone is surprised that there are options they are surprised that they feel some certain way lovers okay where's virgo in this five of pentacles because you you're not even feeling like you need to explain that though seven of cups yeah so someone thinks that they're supposed to be an option but you don't see them that way what you're not confused is what you're saying you're saying no i'm not confused i'm in love or this isn't love between me and you or something. I'm in love with my home. I'm in love with my destiny, this encounter. I'm in love with this person that we flow with. Like someone doesn't get it. You have a new feeling coming over you. It's taking over you. Yeah, I feel like you're like being possessed by your feelings. Like your, your own feelings are becoming more important than they ever been or they have been for a while. So what's this third party energy again? Yeah, it's okay. The third party, ooh, it's a, it's a Capricorn or a Libra. So you could be talking about this with somebody or this Capricorn or Libra is coming in. Someone's obsessed with sex or the idea of sex or who's sleeping with who, who's sleeping where, who's doing what, um, things staying the same and why they're not moving and if they should. Yeah. Who is this? Five of Swords, jealous. Whoa. Virgo, someone is pissed and jealous of your opportunities and your relationship. I don't know how they know about this. Okay. Or someone's nervous that you're cheating and you're not. There's no one else. Like someone's concerned that you... <laughs> oh. You've already chosen or you're saying truthfully, this is my connection. It's nobody else or this is my home I chose. It's nothing else. I don't want anything else. This is what I want. This is who I want. And somebody's like, well, what about this? What about that? Or even um, you could be talking to someone and they're, they're critiquing your lifestyle, your relationship, your home. They're critiquing you or they're questioning you a lot. Even your partner or your someone who lives with you, your roommate is questioning you. Um, are you sure you don't want to... Okay, be with that person instead. Like, and they're like, what do you mean? You're saying like, what do you mean? There's no one else, no one for, for me. This is what, this is what I'm meant to be doing. Wow. So this person 
could be saying stuff to you to kind of like test you or try you with this page of wands. Like they could be, wow, this person's actually full of themselves, but they're putting on a show or they're putting on, I don't know how to explain. Um, they create blockages on purpose. <laughs> Cause, okay, hold on. Yeah, somebody's jealous. All right. If there is someone in the background, I feel like that needs to be dealt with or you're gonna be talking about this. Like, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're wondering, wow, why does this person talk like that or say these things? They're really hot, they're really attractive, or you're understanding that someone's actually really attracted to you. It's like someone's being mean, but they're flirting. Or they're teasing you. This person could be accusing you. What's this page of wands right here? Yes, yeah, you. They're like teasing you. Five of Pentacles. What? Okay. Maybe they don't know who or what you're attracted to or what you got going on, but I feel like someone's teasing you, Virgo. They're, this is flirting. Yeah. Okay. Hello. How come I'm not paying attention to this? Alluring, less irresistible and flirting. That's what this is. They're actually flirting with you, but they're being a D bag or they're actually full of themselves, but they're pretending like they're not. Okay. <laughs> What's the chariot? It's like they're creating false blockages. What's the chariot? I don't know how to tell you. It's like verbally or, or sparring because it's because it's flirting, you know? Yeah, the death card. Something is not changing. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on, Virgo. It's like um, you have this fire sign, this Libra, this water sign or somebody like teasing you. <laughs> Let's move on. Let me see what this person's true intentions are because this is kind of interesting. Yeah. What is this person's intentions with Virgo, please? Five of Pentacles, really? Three of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's a new beginning that you're going to experience with this person. At least they want it to. It's you. Yeah, you, you, okay. Something is going to take a minute or you're deciding to wait or to stay or something's going to stay the way that it is. Someone's not... leaving or someone is not moving someone is not I don't know it's gonna stay the way that it is it's what it is for a while they do have intentions to work with you or to have this new beginning with you but some something is like timing okay Yeah, they do want this. See, this is new home that you guys are entering together. Okay, this person in the reading, they actually, <laughs> they want this new beginning with you, the Ace of Pentacles. It's a new portal. It's a new beginning. It's a doorway. 
they want to rush or they're going to rush or they're going to be telling you about this. They're going to tell you that they want this. They want this relationship. They want this home with you. It's perfect. Yes, I like it, Virgo. Or do you like this, Virgo? That's what this is. Yeah. What does Virgo want with this person? Someone could be telling you you need a certain type of home or you need a certain type of relationship. This is how your relationship. Okay. What does Virgo want with the person in the reading? Yeah, okay. I feel like someone, they could be, there is someone interjecting here. It could be family or a friend. Yeah, the Discord energy. I feel like you don't care what they have to say, though, okay? Because, yeah, you're choosing, whoa. Something is ending, another thing is beginning. Like I said, you're choosing according to your own true feelings, the way that you feel. You could be defending yourself or you're defending something. Here, you're defending your home. You're defending something you've waited for with this temperance king of swords, okay? This comfort, this safety, this belonging, this shelter. You're saying, no, I'm meant to live here. I'm meant to be here. I'm meant to do this, period. Someone in the in the environment is questioning you or asking you, are you sure? They could even be testing you, trying you. I also feel like someone is jealous. There's several things going on here. What does Virgo want with this queen of swords? Yeah, the Hierophant. Yeah, the Star card. The thing is, you are coming into alignment where you're supposed to be. This is spiritual energy. This is universe. This is God. Something is ordained. Like, I, I feel like I said this to you. Was it you in one of your last readings? Like, it was either the last one or the one before that for Virgo specifically. There's someone that you're going to distance yourself from as well. Like, you don't feel like they have any part in your life. Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, or Aquarius. You're protecting a relationship here with maybe one of those signs and someone else could be getting cut out. Yeah, the death card. Three of swords. Yeah, someone's getting cut out because you're trying to protect something that you love or you believe in or some. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so your dreams are formulating, especially if this has to do with um, your long-term vision, your your finances, some something you're becoming aligned with. You're you're coming into alignment, divine alignment with the strength. Oh, this is all. These major arcana are big, heavy-duty energies. So this is talking about. Yeah, destiny, something is faded and you've exhibited that you've grown or you've matured or you've experienced life up to a certain point that you can pass go, you can collect your $200, you can enter this portal now. Yeah, there it is. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know that and three of pentacles, you're going to work together with someone to create this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you have to choose wisely. Here's the lovers. I feel like it's no brainer for you. This is a no brainer. But I feel like also you're being questioned, antagonized. Also, someone's flirting. Yeah, here's the antagonization. The, the Knight of Swords, that's literally what this person came in with. Yeah, this Queen of Swords person. This could be an air sign or a very snippy person. They act a certain way, but they're flirting. They could be acting aggressive or they could be accusing you they could be switching up on you one moment to the next this is like actually flirting and they deny it yeah who is this mm. okay let me get you some advice related to this person maybe this queen of swords person two of pentacles two of swords hmm Three of Pentacles. There's that plan that you have. Wow, this is talking about enjoy. Okay, enjoy the fruits of your labor, your creations, your relationships. So people have fun, let loose, do what you want. Like, that's what this is talking about. Like, continue course, study the course. Like, you're happy here, or something is happy. Follow your happiness, the sun, the yellow brick road. Um, Three of Pentacles is something you've already decided or you planned on. Yeah, the strength. It's really, yeah. 
You have to choose wisely too, or you already did. The answer is clear to you. What type of choice is this? Could be in love. I do feel like you have to choose wisely your relationship. Yeah. See, it could be a home or a relationship. This could be um, having to do with this Aquarius person. Your home, your dream home, your fate. Okay, you're coming into alignment here. It's just keep going, basically. Is there a jealous person in this reading, please? Yeah, there is the tower, the ace of cups. Yeah, because you have this new beginning or this success coming in. Someone's a little bit jealous. Uh, okay, three of swords. Yeah, it's a fire sign. Okay, either they're jealous of this sign or this is the sign, and it could be both signs mentioned, one who's jealous and one that you're dealing with. We have, yeah, Libra, three of swords, fire sign energy, Scorpio Aquarius, Taurus. Interesting. So what's going to happen for Virgo? Four cups. You don't care. I feel like you don't care. Someone's, um, like I said, the tower and the two of cups. Someone is gossiping, talking, or something like that. I don't feel like you care very much, or someone doesn't. Yeah, here's the king of pentacles. Yeah, you don't care, the eight of cups. Someone's going to be talking crap or saying some things you don't really care about. It's like, whatever. That's what it looks like. Where's we're going this? Ten of swords. Yeah, you're, you could be ending a relationship with your family. Damn. There's a Pisces here, or a Libra, or this Earth sign. That that keeps, yeah, Pisces, ninth house, and the sun. Someone doesn't believe in you or your ideas or something. You don't care. So your justice is being mysterious or being quiet or not sharing everything, or your justice is ending a contract with this group setting. Maybe it's a family or a place of... I don't know, business, but that's justice to stop caring or to stop talking to someone. Okay, do do what you will, of course. This is just how it's coming out. But the high priestess knows what's best. She knows, okay? And maybe sometimes silence is best with the high priestess. So I feel like that's what you're doing. You're, you're not re responding to someone. You're not taking the bait or you're not, you know, you're, you're studying your course is what I see. Let me get you an advice card. What is the beneficial supportive energy for Virgo regarding this or otherwise? Okay. What's this? Don't let your past hold you back a time for healing. Someone had exactly this. I don't remember who full moon and Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. Yeah. So let go of the south node energies things that have become too comfortable or a comfort zone that you've been in could be old relationships old dynamics old belief systems whatever it is um you're healing from this or you will be you're choosing your friends wisely or whoever is your friend what is the supportive energy for Virgo to focus on? What do you need to release? Uh, meditate and contemplate. You've got new moon and Pisces. It feels like you need to release people's opinions or gossip or something. A time to give rather than take. For That's your Virgo energy too. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. Yeah, this is your comfort zone, your home, your family, okay? You're releasing something there. Adjustments are required. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, I feel like this is not going to be avoided. Time to give rather than take. 
like you can't avoid this change that you're moving into because something is faded or destined. And I, I feel like this came up in your reading before. Yeah, this is a relationship, contracts, spiritual contracts, legalities, signing on the dotted line, you know, maybe this is about a home, like you're signing for a home, for example, but you have Mercury, the seventh house, and Libra, Libra in the seventh house working together with others. So this is what you're going to be doing. It's going to grow. Something is growing. There's excitement. There's co communication conversation about relationships. Maybe your interest is expanding or someone's is because you have to reach this resolution. Something needs to be released so that you can work with somebody in the seventh house, seventh house of partnerships. Also open enemies. So you're gonna see who's for this idea and who's not. Yeah, that's what this feels like. Thank you, Virgo. Check out the placements, more different information, get a well-rounded view, and I'll see you next time.